going on? Welcome to the weekend edition. And I've got something to tell you, and I've got something to show you. It's season two. I had to reevaluate some things, had to reevaluate the gear, kind of take a step back and say what do I want to do, where do I want to go, and is this stuff, tech things, going to get me there with uh, the story I have to tell and all of me that I want to show you. So, with all of that said, we're going to switch from day to night, and I need to show you something. Right? Okay, it's not night yet, because UPS came a lot faster than I thought they were going to, so it's clearly still daylight outside. It's like 6 o'clock. But... There's a package here. Let's take it out of the box and show you what all of this junk is. One side. Two sides. That's probably dangerous. Okay, so first thing. Apparently I got some free software. I'm probably not going to use that. Oh, Corel Paint? I haven't heard of Corel Paint in years. Corel Aftershot Pro? What? Look at all those codes. Um, if you want a code for mm, any of these Corel programs, I'll hold on to this for a few days. Let me know if you want any of these. Software suite from Focus Camera. Anyway, whatever. And looks like a camera bag. Not really something I need because I use my DSLR backpack when I'm going places. Deluxe SLR camera kit. I think there might actually be some other stuff in here. I'll open it up. If there's anything important in it, I'll let you know. 64 gig memory card. Good for shooting 4K. It's got that fast write speed. This is good. This is something I was actually really looking forward to. A Wasabi Power pack with two batteries and a charger that charges both of them at the same time. And you plug this thing into the wall. This is amazing because Sony batteries are really, really pricey. Now, here is La Piece de Resistance, the Sony A6300. We've got the paperwork that very few people ever read, but with uh, this special of a purchase, I'm probably gonna at least look through most of this. We've got an actual Sony battery. These are, I think these are like $60, which is why I'm so super excited about getting extra batteries with it. Uh, so one battery, the iCup, USB power adapter. If you're living in another country, it doesn't look like this. A USB to charge and transfer and a Sony Alpha neck strap which will most likely never get used and the rest of the box is empty but Basically, over the last like week or two, I did a little bit of a kind of a not a soul search because this isn't like that serious of an issue. It's more of a creativity search on what exactly I want to do and where I want to take the channel and if I even want to continue the channel and just make you know videos for another platform or whatever. And basically, came down to the fact that 
uh, I don't feel like the gear that I had was going to let me get to where I wanted to be. And I don't know that that's a specific one place, but it was definitely holding me back as far as like creativity goes. And so pretty much everything is gone. Uh, I, f I listed everything that as far as my gear goes on Craigslist, except for the camera that I'm filming this on, which is my tiny little RX100, and my Canon camera is gone. I sold that to a photographer friend of mine, and uh, he's going to be able to get some good use out of it, because it's still a perfectly good camera, it's just not exactly what I need, so it's not meeting really the, the video purposes. And so the Canon is gone, the Canon lenses are almost gone and then the GoPro is gone as well because I just didn't use it and I don't really want it sitting around in my house if, it, if it's not being used so what I ended up settling on obviously the Sony RX RX but the Sony a6300 and if you'll remember a couple of months ago I actually bought another little Sony which I'm holding on to for a little while as well the Sony A5000, but it uses the same lenses, so I can actually use the lens that that camera came with for a little while until I can upgrade to a nice wider lens. But yeah, I'm going to spend some time looking through the menus, getting the battery charged up, and uh, getting a feel for this. So the next time you see me will be on this camera, and three, two, I don't really want to do that. How about Three, two, one. Well, well, well. Here we are. The first shot on the new camera. I gotta say, it looks real nice. I, uh, I used the cutters to uh, take off the super annoying little Sony things that they insist on putting every, putting on every single camera. And uh, yeah, so. Just gonna walk around a little bit and see how this adjusts and see what the sound sounds like and I may not use any of this but then I'll have it at least. Let's flip it around see what this does and light changes. Gotta say it looks pretty good in low light and there's absolutely no light in this hallway right now. Interested to see how that looks. Walking through behind the kitchen to the to the bathroom. You know, I'm not sure what this will do, but anyway, that's what it looks like. This uh, I chose the A6300 because the autofocus is supposedly some of the fastest of any camera in the world. So I'm very, very excited about the image that this thing produces. I'm very excited about the uh, option that I have to use slow motion. Uh, so this thing will shoot at 1080p at 120 frames a second, which is just phenomenal. Because uh, that when you slow it down, you don't get any frame loss and there's almost no motion blur whatsoever. And it's just really awesome. The other thing that I really wanted in a new camera was uh, the option to shoot in 4K. And this thing shoots 4K, 24 frames, and 30 frames. So it's kind of future-proofed, and it's something I'll be able to hold on to for a really long time. But I'm very, I'm very much looking forward to, you know, vlogging on this thing a little bit more. Yeah, I'm glad to be back and. I'm happy that you're watching this. Welcome to season two. Hope you're well, wherever you are, whoever you are. I hope you had a fantastic day, and I will talk to you soon. Be good to each other. But for real, Amazon, that was a lot of packaging. Lots.